wanna do all night. Say it. I wanna do all night. Uh huh. I wanna do all night. Say it. I wanna do all night. What's up, it's your girl Chardonnay, and today I'm here with the video, and I'm not gonna lie, I low-key have recorded this video like eight damn times. I know it's been a while since I've even made a video, so I definitely do appreciate you guys for coming back to my channel. Also, I'm now back on YouTube. I have a lot of content for you guys that's gonna be in the next video where I'm really just gonna sit down and talk to you guys about an update, what we got going on, and what I plan to share with you guys over this next year. So I hope that you guys do come back to my channel. Go ahead and hit the post notification button just in case you guys need some alerts when I post. And other than that, like I said, I just really wanna tell you guys that I love you and I thank you so much for coming into my channel and stay tuned for more content and comment below and tell me what you guys wanna see next. Now it's time to get into the video because this video is is for my wig wearing girlies. Let me lay a great time on ya. Don't make me wait no don't you. Just like you better. From all love. This is pretty much the only packaging I got. Was a clear down bag. And a, a outside of a purple bag. And the wig inside the purple bag. And I got some wig caps. And this is the wig. So this is the 5x5 five five here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It comes with three combs, and that's one, two, three. It comes with the simple string in the back with a little clip. Um, this is her up close. This is her. And like I said, this is a video where you really about to learn bleaching these knots. We're going to go over the ball cap method, and we're also going to go over melting the lace. And we're going to go over how we style okay. this shit. That's what we're going to do. So stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you check out all of my social media handles. That's going to be down in the description below. And stay tuned because I also have a real wig giveaway coming up soon. All right, y'all. Peace. We're going to be doing our service on. Um, the first thing I did was spray the hairs back. Not a whole bunch, but just enough. And I also did do the lace as well. Here's the consistency of the 30 developer in the bleach. The thicker, the better, because you don't want it to go through the lace. And you want to start applying at the back first. As you can see, you want to apply at the back, and you can just feather this in. Okay, you can push it in just a little bit, but not too much. Uh, you don't want to do a whole bunch. Also, I think another thing that I'm actually going to try this time is purple shampoo uh, or, you know, like rinsing in purple shampoo with the wig. I'm going to try that. So this is what we have right now. This is what your process should be looking like. You're gonna let this sit and I'm gonna come back when the knots are bleached. We have our purple shampoo here. This is called Root to End. Uh, this is just blind purple shampoo. Uh, you don't have to necessarily do this brand, but definitely purple shampoo over your lace is gonna help you. This is kind of the look you wanna go for, that light brown or anything closer to you know what you need based off your skin tone. Uh, this is when you look off into the wig. Um, is everything bleached? No. Do me personally, do I care? No. This is just about what I'll need it to be for my process. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out. I'm gonna go ahead and wash the lace. Um, I'm not getting a lot of shedding really at all on this wig. Um, so I definitely would rate it as of right now. Um, just about a, a, a five, just because I don't know. And this is also, I think I did fail to mention, this is 180 density. I strictly do 180 density in straight and body wave wigs only. I do not do any 150s. Um, I do try to at least stick to 180 
200 if I can. And that's because the density is how thick the wig is. So the thicker the density, the thicker the wig is going to be, the longer it's going to last. So yeah, when you're shopping for your wigs on Amazon, please be sure, especially because it's on Amazon, please be sure to look for 180 density wigs instead of 150 because that's going to ensure you get a chance at some thick quality, you know, hair. So These are rinsed out. This is what I have. You know, so we're going to go ahead and get into tweezing and then well, we're going to blow dry this, get into tweezing and then um, yeah, so let's go to the next part. Um, basically, I'm just going to go in and now it's time for plucking. Uh, basically, all you really need for plucking and kind of getting your ready wig to install that I do really, I don't really do a lot of extra stuff, I'm not going to lie. You're going to need a hot comb. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn that on and get that warm. Uh, you're also going to need a wax stick. This is the wax stick that I normally get. Um, I, I got this from Amazon. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply the wax stick to the track part um, surrounding that closure. So while that's heating up, I'm just going to explain basically how I tweeze my wigs. After that, I just comb that in too. When you combing the product in, it's making sure everything gets even and it gives you a chance at a real flat, you know what I'm saying, situation here. So go ahead and comb that in. So basically what we do, I'm going to go ahead and hot comb all of this here. And then I'm going to part, apply wax stick, hot comb down, and tweeze just a little bit. So let me go ahead and get this uh, done. Okay. You want just everything to get flat. All the way around. Flatten it straight down from where it's coming from. You don't gotta do a whole bunch. I just do it just to get, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going a little bit glue. Also, you can spray the hair with a little got to be glued because for some reason that be helping my tweezers a little bit. So I didn't spray a little bit in there. That ain't gonna hurt nobody. Go back over it. Let you see me doing. Okay, put that down. Now it's time to get into the tweezers. So like I said, you're going to clean the tip of this on my purse because this is what I just applied this wig I have in now with and you see I need Pull that extra glue off if you got some. Now you're going to take each level, um, put a little wax. I'm not going to do this part either because this is the part that's going to be covering the track. You know what I'm saying? So we want that to stay thick. We want the first couple of layers to kind of stay thick. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to start really tweezing until about here. This is about where my part is going to be. So now I'm going to just go ahead and cut out the parts to kind of support covering that track. I'm just going to part that out like so. And all of this, it's what's going to be kind of tweezed out a little bit and thinned out because I'm sorry, like I like my hair thick, but I don't like it unnaturally thick. So we're gonna go ahead and hot comb all of this here, just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and start. Okay, 
Okay, so we got a little cute bit just to make sure the tracks is covered. We don't want to tweeze this out. I'm just going to high comb this forward just to get it out the way. Okay, so now that I got some fresh tweezers. You part, high comb, tweeze, long strokes. I do believe I'm just gonna wear it like this, um, which is basically this, but a new wig. Um, I might revive this. Anyways, I might make this into a bob wig. I'm just kind of trying to wait it out to see. So I'm definitely gonna take this one off. And that's kind of how I can see how it's gonna fit. So far, I'm really enjoying the wig. I like how thick it's looking right now. So this is what we got, is just find a way to secure the cap. Okay, so now I'm gonna divide my part, my hair down the middle. And this is what happens when you put your bleach to the back first, you get a full shabayang. So if you don't wanna put glue on your edges, just find a way to secure the cap. But now, at this time, I'm literally just pressing over the hair again. Okay, so now I'm gonna divide my part, my hair down the middle. Ooh, yes, check that bleach job, man. And this is what happens when you put your bleach to the back first, you get a full shabayang. Now I'm just gonna go in with some makeup. This is Professional Kiss uh, makeup powder. The hair is giving me the, yeah, you finna eat that up. So this is what we working with. Mm -hmm. Look at her, she's full. This is the first time I've ever liked a wig, like immediately or right as. So now that we kind of have it where I might want to put it, it looks a little more even this time the middle part does i'm gonna fix it some more but i'm just gonna apply it now so the next step is to go ahead and apply your glue so you're gonna pull your wig back i want to go in with my glue and i'm gonna use my finger do i use my finger on my clients no but do i do it on myself yes yes because it makes it flatter i almost damn near permanently know where my glue is to go because um i have a burn right there now so way to go char enough and I'm saying evenly damn near little to none because you're going to add on to it. So that's where a lot of girls be messing up is making just putting a whole bunch of shitload of glue when they could easily just rub it in kind of and just stack the layers. I'm going to do about three layers, which means I owe myself one more layer. So I'm going to go ahead and put that layer on and let it dry clear and then I'm going to be back. So I have placed my wig. So now we're about to get into the good part. So I've placed, going to take your comb after you've placed your wig and you're going to pull the lace here and you're just simply going to just rake that comb and rake same way we did with the cap. You're just doing it with the wig. And also, if you have a reused wig, I like to just keep the baby hairs parted out from what I had. And I like to just do this method from the baby hair. So, if that kind of helps as well. I use got to be glued, but I use the melting spray first. So, I have this melting spray that came with my wax stick. It's from the same brand. I'm literally just going to spray this on my finger and just go to pressing it in. And immediately you're going to see pressing it in is going to give you this effect. So if you have white bubbles or you see like a bubble 
in between like your skin and the lace you need to press it in more and now i'm going to spray a little got to be glued and then i'm going to tie it down and then i'm going to let it melt down and i'll be while our lace is melting and we are deciding on our part because we always do the baby hair based off the part that's part of it i have my part i'm going to go ahead and start hot combing my part in the areas that i want it generally i just pull down and run the hot comb over it i want to bust down it's about what we need right there so i'm gonna spray with got to be glued and i'm going to press over one more time being sure that we get it going in the right direction it's supposed to be in and when you put makeup on your part you want to completely dab it in so you want to dab in brush like kind of like a blot motion but you want to be sure makeup on my lace and then I uh, put a little black eyeliner I'm going to take a little foundation. I'm just going to rub it over my hand. Spray a little. Got to be glued. Spray. And then I'm going to take this. And put it over that hairline. Because that's going to help it do what it needs to do. So now I'm just going to cut it up the middle. And right where it gets where I want to cut my hairline at. I'm just going to cut the lace off in one area. This part off because, yeah. So, just keep on trucking. So now I'm just gonna go in with that darker shade and I'm just going to put that darker shade, which is the shade very, very much so closer to my hairline. Part of. I do like an ovalish for my middle part. I just do like an oval pull out piece, just like this. So I'm gonna pull this out and then I'm gonna pull the same thing of this out, which is a lot more. So let me just dumb it down. Make sure it's not more than what I pulled out. So. So I have these out. I'm going to tweeze these down. Just making it look camo. Get up in that lace really good. So this is what we have right now. Just a little bit because I am going to hot comb these to go straight down. You wanna hot comb these back. Because I like mine to kind of like from the part. So you can spray, comb back. And then I'm gonna comb these straight down. And if they don't meet, you know what I'm saying, at the closest stage, make them. So tweeze them down, pluck, pull hairs out, just to get it where you need it to be. So I'm gonna spray over this one more time, just like this. Make sure you get off in that part. Also, keeping your bands clean is gonna make sure you get the best, you know, meltdown. You also can pull, you know what I'm saying, just to be sure that it gets as flat as it can. I'm gonna go ahead and straighten my hair. I'm gonna do this off camera, so I'm gonna come back when it's time to just finish up and do the baby hair. Chill, 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 drop 
Pissing me off, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this off because I use a bigger curl and iron. I pretty much just put this on when I do this, but let's go ahead and just cut these because I forgot about these. So, what I do is I turn my baby hairs like this because this side needs to be short and the beginning needs to be short, and I'm just and it just needs to be enough to just just like that. Okay, boom. So now I'm just gonna do this here. I'm gonna spray my baby hair. I'm gonna let them sit. And I'm just gonna slay these baby hairs. So I'm just gonna whoop. But you don't wanna take too, too long doing this because it can just, un like it can just straight up undo your curl back. And so that just defeats the purpose. So just fiddle until you get it where you like and then I'm just gonna leave it like that just for a second I'm gonna tie it down like this I'm gonna go over my hair and make sure it's completely straight and then I'm gonna come back and review the end so this is pretty much what you're going to be working with here's my lace you guys can kind of see this. and this is the finished result um I have my baby hairs here they're very wacky but I really don't be caring about them too much I'm gonna go back in and fix some later, but you get the you get the the gist. This is pretty much what we work with. Shout out to the third eye for my contacts. I did purchase these. Um, they are a little late, but they got here today, so that will be another video for another day. Um, if there is nothing else, I do thank you so much for stopping into this video, and I hope this video did help you guys out a lot. And if there's nothing else, I thank you so much for watching, me, and I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and then I'm out. This is your sign to book me for your wig customization. Thanks, Char. Thank you.